The Wii version is the third updated of Joe Valentine and Chris Redfield trying to escape the mansion outside of Raccoon City at the time of this review. The remake manages to still have the original feel of Who Do You Trust, Albert Wesky and Barry Burton, and where are all these zombies coming from? This game was released on the Nintendo GameCube back in 2002 and was well received right away and is still worth buying and playing. So what are you going to do with another version of the first Resident Evil game? First, let's just clear something up. Resident Evil for the GameCube and the Wii is not just an updated version of the same game from the PlayStation 1 days with better graphics. The game is 70% to 75% new and different from the original game. There are new plot points like telling the story of the Trevor family decades before the outbreak and where did Lisa Trevor disappear to. The game also adds in storyline points dealing with William Birkins from Resident Evil 2 and some backstory of Alexia Ashford from Resident Evil Cold Veronica. The new mansion is huge and looks great. We are still little surprised that the GameCube had such graphical power and looks good as a Wii game. It took us 15 to 17 hours to play through and experience everywhere. That is playing both as Chris and Jill's storylines. The gameplay is set up in the traditional Resident Evil style. There are still fixed camera angles that mostly don't change unless you move around then the game will switch to the new camera. There are no supplies to buy so you must save your ammo and health. The controls are great, no problems with the auto aim and it still does not matter where you go. There is still something new to find and someplace else to explore. Remember, most of this game is different from the PlayStation 1 version released in 1996, so even if you played the original Resident Evil, you have played the whole game to explore. We have no complaints at all. The game has enough new elements to make you want to still play even if you own the earlier versions. It takes a sentimental look at the roots of the Resident Evil series, and it still has the Shark Tank levels, but it is better than ever. This game is so good, we will hope that Resident Evil 2 and 3 would get the same type of a remake. If you can find it, buy it. We would love to see it as a download for the Nintendo GameCube, Xbox, or PlayStation system. If you can find it for the GameCube version, it will work in your Wii. The Wii released for the Resident Evil Zero will still work in the Wii U. It is still worth buying under $35. Resident Evil, the 2002 remake, gets an 8.5 out of 10. This is Red Wolf signing out, and I'll see you next time.